Hi, my name is Anya Amador and this is the Liberty Collage. Before you watch me paint it from start to finish, I just want to tell you a little bit about it. It features quotes from our founding fathers and from Dr. Ron Paul. It talks about liberty and the Constitution and the things that this country used to stand for. If you would have asked me three months ago, do I care about politics or am I supporting any particular candidate, I would have said no and that I'm not supporting anyone because they just are all the same and I don't really feel like I can make a difference. It wasn't until I learned about Dr. Ron Paul that I realized there is hope for America after all. Not only is he a 12-term congressman with lots of experience and a very consistent voting record, he is the only candidate that's talking about the issues that are important to us today, like cutting spending and un ending unnecessary wars, and will be very important to us tomorrow and in the future, such as ending the Federal Reserve and stop printing money uh, to account for this excessive spending. So whether you know about uh, Ron Paul or you know, you're just starting to learn more about him, I encourage you to watch this video, to share with your friends, because he has a very powerful message. I really hope you like the painting, and again, thank you very much for watching. Madam Speaker, I have a few questions for my uh, colleagues. What if our foreign policy of the past century is deeply flawed and has not served our national security interests? What if we wake up one day and realize that the terrorist threat is a predictable consequence of our meddling in the affairs of others and has nothing to do with us being free and prosperous? What is propping up regi repressive regimes in the Middle East endangers both the United States and Israel? What if occupying countries like Iraq and Afghanistan and bombing pa Pakistan is directly related to the hatred directed toward us? What if someday it dawns on us that losing over 5,000 American military personnel in the Middle East since 9-11 is not a fair trade-off for the loss of nearly 3,000 American citizens, no matter how many Iraqi, Pakistani, and Afghan people are killed or displaced. What if we finally decide that torture, even if called enhanced interrogation technique, is self-destructive and produces no useful information, and that contracting it out to a third world nation is just as evil? What if it is finally realized that war and military spending is always destructive to the economy? What if all wartime spending is paid for through the deceitful and evil process of inflating and borrowing? What if we finally see that wartime conditions always undermine personal liberty? What if conservatives who preach small government wake up and realize that our interventionist foreign policy provides the greatest incentive to expand the government? What if conservatives understood once again that their only logical position, military intervention, and managing an empire throughout the world? What if the American people woke up and understood that the official reasons for going to war are almost always based on lies and promoted by war propaganda in order to serve special interests? What if we as a nation came to realize that the quest for empire eventually destroys all great nations? What if Obama has no intention of leaving Iraq? What if a military draft is being planned for for the wars that will spread if our foreign policy is not changed? What if the American people learn the truth? that our foreign policy has nothing to do with national security, that it never changes from one administration to the next. What if war and preparation for war is a racket serving the special interests? What if President Obama is completely wrong about Afghanistan and turns out worse than Iraq and Vietnam put together? What if Christianity actually teaches peace and not preventive wars of aggression? What if diplomacy is found to be superior to bombs and bribes in protecting America? 
What happens if my concerns are completely unfounded? Nothing. But what happens if my concerns are justified and ignored? Nothing good. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and can appreciate the process and how much cutting and pasting went into all of these different quotations. Uh, but it's a really powerful message, so I hope that you will uh, like it here on YouTube, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and you can continue to share the message and even uh, have a copy of this painting for yourself. You can order prints at www.LibertyPainter.com. There are also t-shirts available, and we are donating uh, some of the proceeds to the Ron Paul campaign. This painting is actually uh, going to be auctioned off on eBay, which you can also find on the website, LibertyPainter.com. So if you like the painting or you'd like to order a print or uh, possibly a t-shirt, then check out the website and support Ron Paul 2012.